How should you approach the zebra crossing? Be ready to slow down or stop to allow pedestrians to cross. Slow down and wave the pedestrians across. Speed up to get past the crossing. Sound your horn to warn the pedestrians. You've stopped at the zebra crossing. When may you move off? When the pedestrians have cleared your side of the road. When the pedestrians have completely crossed. When the oncoming car moves off. When the driver behind you sounds their horn. When may you wait in the area marked with a cycle. When you've checked your mirrors for cyclists. When there are no cycles in the marked area. When you've turned on your hazard warning lights. When the traffic lights change to amber after you've passed the first line. Why did the lorry driver start turning so late? Because the lorry needs the room to turn. Because the driver was late checking their right mirror. Because the driver was making room for the cyclist. Because the lorry set off too fast. When are you allowed to wait on the yellow grid markings? When you are going straight on. When you are turning left. When you are turning right. Never. Why should you take care driving past the man with the cane? He's deaf. He's blind. He's deaf and blind. He's physically disabled. What does this sign mean? Multi-exit roundabout. Risk of ice. Six roads converge. Place of historical interest. What can seriously reduce your ability to concentrate? Drugs. Busy roads. Tinted windows. Weather conditions. When are you allowed to use hazard warning lights? When stopped and temporarily obstructing traffic? When traveling during darkness without headlights? When parked on double yellow lines to visit a shop? When traveling slowly because you're lost? You're driving a car that has a diesel engine. What can a loose filler cap on your fuel tank cause? It can make the engine difficult to start. It can make the roads slippery for other road users. It can improve your vehicle's fuel consumption. It can increase the level of exhaust emissions. What's likely to happen if you put too much oil in your engine? The clutch pedal will lock. The air intake will become blocked. The timing belt will slip. The oil seals will leak. Why is traveling in neutral for long distances, known as coasting, bad driving technique? It will cause the car to skid. It will make the engine stall. The engine will run faster. There won't be any engine braking. You're on a smart motorway. What does it mean when a mandatory speed limit is displayed above the hard shoulder? You shouldn't travel in this lane. The hard shoulder can be used as a running lane. You can park on the hard shoulder if you feel tired. You can pull up in this lane to answer a mobile phone. What does this sign mean? End of dual carriageway. Tall bridge. Road narrows. End of narrow bridge.
What should you do to reduce the risk of your vehicle catching fire? Keep water levels above maximum. Check out any strong smell of fuel. Avoid driving with a full tank of fuel. Use fuel additives. You've stopped at a pelican crossing. What should you do if a disabled person is crossing slowly in front of you and the lights change to green? Wait for them to finish crossing. Drive in front of them. Edge forward slowly. Sound your horn. You're carrying an 11-year-old child on the front seat of your car. They're under 1.35 meters, 4 feet 5 inches, tall. What seat belt security must be in place? They must use an adult seat belt. They must be able to fasten their own seat belt. They must use a suitable child restraint. They must be able to see clearly out of the front window. Which type of sign tells you what you must not do? You're parked on the road at night. When must you use parking lights? When there are continuous white lines in the middle of the road. When the speed limit exceeds 30 miles per hour. When you're facing oncoming traffic. When you're near a bus stop. What legal requirement must be met by a newly qualified driver? They must display green L plates. They must have a new photograph taken for their full license. They must be accompanied on their first motorway journey. They must have valid motor insurance. An adult casualty isn't breathing. To maintain circulation, CPR should be given. What's the correct depth to press down on their chest? 1 to 2 centimeters. 5 to 6 centimeters. 10 to 15 centimeters. 15 to 20 centimeters. What color are the reflective studs between a motorway and a slip road? Amber. White. Green. Red. What signal should you give when you're going straight ahead at a roundabout? Signal left before leaving the roundabout. Don't signal at any time. Signal right when you're approaching the roundabout. Signal left when you're approaching the roundabout. What should you do when you're unsure whether it's safe to reverse your vehicle? Sound your horn. Reverend your engine. Get out and check. Reverse slowly. Which sign means there's a double bend ahead? You've driven up to a pelican crossing. What must you do while the amber light is flashing? Signal the pedestrian to cross. Always wait for the green light before proceeding. Give way to any pedestrians on the crossing. Wait for the red and amber light before proceeding. When must you stop your vehicle? If you're involved in an incident that causes damage or injury. At a junction where there are giveaway lines. At the end of a one-way street. Before merging onto a motorway. You have stopped in an emergency refuge area. What must you do before you rejoin the carriageway? Use the emergency telephone. Give an arm signal as you are moving off. Switch on your vehicle's headlights. Move away with your hazard lights on.
When should you use your vehicle's horn? To alert others to your presence. To allow you right of way. To greet other road users. To signal your annoyance. Which is the sign for a ring road? What does this sign mean? Hump bridge. Traffic calming hump. Low bridge. Uneven road. You arrive at an incident. There's no danger from fire or further collisions and the emergency services have been called. What's your first priority when attending to an unconscious motorcyclist? Check whether they're breathing normally. Check whether they're bleeding. Check whether they have any broken bones. Check whether they have any bruising. You're about to drive your car. What should you do if you can't find the glasses you need to wear? Drive home slowly, keeping to quiet roads. Borrow a friend's glasses and use those. Drive home at night, so that the lights will help you. Find a way of getting home without driving. What's the national speed limit on motorways for cars and motorcycles? 30 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. 70 miles per hour. What's covered by third-party insurance? Damage to your vehicle. Fire damage to your vehicle. Flood damage to your vehicle. Damage to other vehicles. You've just gone through flood water. What should you do to make sure your brakes are working properly? Accelerate and keep to a high speed for a short time. Go slowly while gently applying the brakes. Avoid using the brakes at all for a few miles. Stop for at least an hour to allow them time to dry. Which sign means the end of a dual carriage way? You're on a motorway. What should you do if there's a red cross showing on the signs above your lane only? Continue in that lane and look for further information. Don't continue in the lane. Pull onto the hard shoulder. Stop and wait for an instruction to proceed. You want to turn left at this junction. What should you do if your view of the main road is restricted? Stay well back and wait to see if anything comes. Build up your speed so that you can emerge quickly. Stop and apply the parking brake even if the road is clear. Approach slowly and edge out until you can see more clearly. When may you stop on an urban clearway? To set down and pick up passengers. To use a mobile telephone. To ask for directions. To load or unload goods. Your vehicle has stalled in the middle of a level crossing. What should you do if the warning bells start to ring while you're trying to restart the engine? Get out of the car and clear of the crossing. Run down the track to warn the signal operator. Carry on trying to restart the engine. Push the vehicle clear of the crossing. You're approaching a mini roundabout. What should you do if a long vehicle in front signals left but positions over to the right? Sound your horn. Overtake on the left. Follow the same course as the lorry. Keep well back. What will be affected if the road surface becomes soft in very hot weather? The suspension. The exhaust emissions. The fuel consumption. The tire grip. Why should you try and park in a secure car park? 
It makes it easy to find your car. It helps deter thieves. It stops the car being exposed to bad weather. It doesn't cost anything to park here. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. To get the best view of the road ahead. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. What must you do when the amber light is flashing at a pelican crossing? Stop and wait for the green light. Stop and wait for the red light. Give way to pedestrians waiting to cross. Give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. As you approach a pelican crossing, the lights change to green. What should you do if older people are still crossing? Wave them to cross as quickly as they can. Reverend your engine to make them hurry. Flash your lights in case they haven't noticed you. Wait patiently while they cross. You're about to reverse into a side road. What should you do if a pedestrian is waiting to cross behind your car? Wave to the pedestrian to stop. Give way to the pedestrian. Sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. Reverse before the pedestrian starts to cross. What should you do when you see an older person about to cross the road ahead? Expect them to wait for you to pass. Speed up to get past them quickly. Stop and wave them across the road. Be careful, they may misjudge your speed. The road is wet. Why would a motorcyclist steer around drain covers while they were cornering? To avoid puncturing the tires on the edge of the drain covers. To prevent the motorcycle sliding on the metal drain covers. To help judge the bend using the drain covers as marker points. To avoid splashing pedestrians on the pavement. What will help you to move off on a snowy surface? Using the car's lowest gear. Using a higher gear than normal. Using a high engine speed. Using the parking brake and foot brake together. What should you do if you have to make a journey in foggy conditions? Follow other vehicles' tail lights closely. Avoid using dipped headlights. Leave plenty of time for your journey. Keep two seconds behind the vehicle ahead. What does this sign mean? 
two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. Traffic approaching you has priority. Two-way traffic straight ahead. Motorway contraflow system ahead. You're following a slower moving vehicle. What should you do if there's a junction just ahead on the right? Overtake after checking your mirrors and signaling. Only consider overtaking when you're past the junction. Accelerate quickly to overtake before reaching the junction. Slow down and prepare to overtake on the left. What should you do before slowing down or stopping your vehicle? Sound the horn. Use the mirrors. Select a higher gear. Flash the headlights. There's been a heavy fall of snow. What should you consider before driving in these conditions? Whether you should fit an amber flashing beacon to your car. Whether you should drive without wearing your seat belt. Whether you should wear sunglasses to reduce the glare. Whether your journey is essential. What's the reason for traffic calming measures? To stop road rage. To make overtaking easier. To slow traffic down. To make parking easier. You see these double white lines along the center of the road. When may you park on the left? If the line nearest to you is broken. When there are no yellow lines. To pick up or set down passengers. During daylight hours only.